author I recently read connects the labyrinth to caving, exploring deep, dark caves. And we're talking using headlamps and knee pads to get through something so dark and scary. And this cave, wow, is certainly an adventure of sorts. And I'd like us to imagine we're at the edge of the cave and we're about to embark on a great adventure into it. And before we enter this cave, I'd like you to reflect on your life and your greatest adventure, your greatest journey that you've ever taken. And this isn't a vacation, but a pilgrimage, a place where you've deliberately gone in order to experience transformation. Imagine we take some steps further into the cave. This is the middle of our journey, the middle of our adventure, the middle of the pilgrimage. And this is where things get a little scary. As we enter into the cave, it's dark and you can't really tell what's around you. Is that a shiny rock or the sparkling eyes of a monster? The middle of this journey is filled with so much unknown. And this is the stuff that gets in the way. The false narratives, the voices in our heads, the voices of shame. So we're in the middle. I invite us to reflect on the chaos, the narratives, the voices, the things we can't control that prevent us from going deeper. We've made it to the inside of the cave and it's still dark and we hear our instructor tell us to put out our lights and sit in silence. And in the silence is where we finally notice that God, the divine presence, has been journeying with us through the cave through our greatest adventure. And the end of the cave is where we find our true selves. We've been on a pilgrimage, a long journey, an adventure, and this is the point of our inner adventure. This is where we acknowledge where we've come from and now where we've come in the center. So you put your light back on for the journey out of the cave, the journey back home. And the way out is the way in. On your own greatest adventure and greatest journey, the way home is the way you came. But it's different. You've passed all the same sights and sounds before. The shiny rock that looks like the sparkling eyes of a monster. The airport sounds or the sights in your car. You've seen it all before, but this time it's different. The way out is the way in, and you are transformed. You are different. You've moved closer to authenticity, and next time you'll move even deeper. <laughs>